This is Shaggy SoCal. Uh, after some spirited rivals events with Sir Casmo Jones at Monza Short, he decided to change the venue and head over to the Top Gear Outer Loop in the rain and set a time using the same Rolls Royce that I last used to beat him at Monza Short. Now, personally, I don't have anything against the Rolls. Uh, I think where I'm kind of done with it is uh, Turn 10 had run a Community Bounty Hunter event uh, several months ago with the Rolls at Brands Hatch to try and beat one of their uh, developers. And I think I put about 1,500 miles on the car uh, to earn uh, the Aston Martin Unicorn. So for me, I, I was done with the car, but uh, clearly from Jones's last video, this doesn't rank as one of those annoying cars. Now, the thing I found most puzzling uh, from Jones's video wasn't that he had beaten my, my time. Uh, it was just the disparity in the times. You know, that F-Type, when I went back and looked, uh, I had set a uh, 147.2 and you can see here Jones lap time is under a minute so something was up now I've gone faster since then through the single player campaign but when I look at my friends list you can see there are others that have also set times in that F type so Jones chose this track for a reason so let's pull up old model T's replay here and see if we can figure out why we're at Top Gear. Really? You beat my bowling time? Really? Okay, well, it's Rivals. I have to accept the challenge. I have to respond. So since the rolls uh, isn't annoying enough uh, for Jones, I needed to find something else. So I delved back into Forza 6's car list to see if I could find a vehicle much like the limo that is in Forza, but probably shouldn't be. And I think I found one. The Pontiac Aztec in mint green. So a couple of interesting tidbits about the Aztec. Um, one, GM was originally projecting to sell about 75,000 Aztecs a year and that they needed to m produce 30,000 a year just to break even. Uh, their peak sales figures for the Aztec in 2002, 27,793. So yeah, a little bit off the mark there. The other interesting thing I found was the styling of the Aztec was under the direction of a gentleman named Tom Peters, who would later go on to head up the design of the Chevrolet Corvette C7. Hmm. So why is the Aztec in the game? Because it's obviously not because of its stellar sales figures or dramatic styling. No, it, it's, it's in Forza because of a little show called Breaking Bad and it's making the most of its 15 minutes. So obviously a stock Aztec isn't gonna be enough to take down Jones in A-Class. So I took it through its, my usual run of upgrades. So you did an engine swap, um, some supercharging on it, I went to all wheel drive, suspension, weight, aero, you name it, I probably did uh, made the upgrade to it. And in doing my initial test with this car, I had gotten the feeling that Jones was a little bit relaxed when he set his time in the rolls. So I thought maybe, just maybe, I can beat his flying lap in the rolls with a standing lap out of the Aztec. As long as I don't script the last two turns. <laughs> 